Well, the buzzer sounds to get ready to begin the game as the referee approaches the circle with the basketball. Oregon, the home team in all white, and Cal Baptist in all gray in the navy blue trim. We're up and underway here from Matthew Knight Arena to begin the 2024-25 season. At the top of the key, Oregon's got the ball. Bell dribbling around, finds it up top, and now they get it down low on the right block, putting up a shot. No good. Fight for the rebound. And the Lancers finally come up with Anaya Tua, corrals the board. Be interesting to see for Oregon. No Filipina Che. She was their star player a season ago. Uh, one of the best rebounders in the entire nation, but not getting the start this afternoon. We'll see how players like Philippa Barros can manage the board game. Ball picked up loose. Mohamed on the fast break, takes it herself and scores. First two points to the Ducks. Amina Muhammad, the DeSoto, Texas native. And a loose ball out of bounds, just like that. Oregon gets a bucket and forces a turnover. Yeah, and for Oregon, Muhammad, a transfer from Texas. Part of the, when she was a freshman, all Big 12 team, two seasons ago. This is an, another spark plug player for the Ducks that she can work well with Deja Kelly. Muhammad, top of the key, back to Kelly. Three-pointer on the way, and nothing but net. Peyton Scott hits the first three of the year for the Ducks. Good to see for Oregon and Peyton Scott. Unfortunate injury last season in the first quarter of the first game of the year. She comes back first game of the year this season and drains a three. Driving in his Tua, kicks it out to the corner. Quick release. Off back iron, won't go. Rebound Kelly. Ducks come the other way up 5-0. Like Olivia mentioned in the pregame, keys for especially California Baptist. They got to get out quick, put points on the board early against a high-flying duck team. Thought about a three was Whitfield. She'll fire it and make it. Alexis Whitfield knocks down the triple, and Oregon up to an 8-0 run to begin the ball game. 8-19 to play in the first quarter. Big West Conference first team selection was Whitfield a season ago for UC Santa Barbara. Just part of the slew of transfers coming over for Oregon. And I, we have a foul against Oregon. Alexis Whitfield on the reach. First foul for either side. First personal for Whitfield versus the team for Oregon. Ducks lead 8-0 with 8.08 to play in quarter number one. And a three right off the inbound. Knocking it down, Felipe Barros gets the Lancers on the board. And Barros, high scoring for the Lancers a season ago, but also second on the team in total rebounds. Let's see how she has any factor inside the paint tonight. Again, no Filipina Che for Oregon to start. Whitfield tries it again. Not that time, off back iron. And it's going to be uh, over the back bell. Yep, called against Amina Muhammad. A good start for Oregon, coming out fast. Moving the ball pretty well on offense, forcing a couple turnovers on the Lancers. Anaya Tua brings it up. The senior from Anaheim, California. We have a kick ball against the Ducks. Ball will stay with the Lancers. 22 on the shot clock, 7.36 to go in the first. And Jonah, it seemed like Oregon, that was... That was kind of their, what they wanted to do was come out fast out of the gate. And it's worked out to a five-point lead. Two at inbound, has to get it in. Almost a five-second count, just does. Left corner three, rattles in and out. And just about a couple good looks, just not capitalizing. And Oregon's coming back fast the other way. Asia Kelly pulls it back behind the arc. Goes by a screen from Muhammad. Tough shot, puts up the 10-footer. No good, good rebound. Muhammad set the pick there for Deja Kelly. Up ahead, Schmidt had it knocked away. Good play in transition, Amina Muhammad. Well, right as I was talking about, Muhammad makes the play on the other end defensively, make, forces the turnover. But on the other end, set the pick for Kelly. We'd like to see Muhammad roll sooner. Kelly tried to find it to her, but quickly gets a double team, has to put up a very contested shot inside the paint. Scott takes it down the left lane, puts it off glass and in. Peyton Scott's got five points. And Oregon leads by seven. Barros, another one. Out time, way off. 
Yeah, Lancer's kind of moving too quick here. Got to really get some key possessions. Quick trigger three, rattles home. Sophia Bell. Yeah, one of the returning players for the Ducks, one of the few returning players for the Ducks on the squad, Sophia Bell. Going to be having a more key role this year. Hanson hands it off to Duran. Good defense by Oregon. Down low to Schmidt. Eight on the shot clock. Spins, puts it up. And that's going to go back to the Ducks. Oregon's defense stifling and forces another turnover. Yeah, I like what California Baptist was trying to do, though, there inside. Trying to get the ball inside. Put Gray Schmidt to work. Charles the foul. Good job by Oregon. This is Deja Kelly. Pulls up from the free throw line. Too easy. That's what you were talking about, Jonah. This big transfer, Deja Kelly coming from UNC over to Eugene. And when, you when she can create space like that and she gets to her spot, it's almost automatic for Deja Kelly. Duran takes it on the dribble drive, has it stripped loose. Oregon trying to save it, bodies on the floor, still fight for the ball. And it's going to be a jump ball possession arrow. It's going to stay with Cal Baptist. But it's Oregon up 15-3 to with 5.41 to play. I'll tell you, and me and you both, we watched a lot of Oregon women's basketball last season. You can already tell the difference in the speed and the fundamentally soundness of this Oregon squad already, and we're just barely uh, short of halfway through the first quarter. Fuadefio inbounds it. Oregon on a 7-0 run in about the last minute 20. Swing it in the corner. Beal has it top of the key, trying to drive it against Scott. Goes through a couple defenders and gets hacked on her way up. Good dribble drive by Claudia Field of the Lancers, and she'll go to the free throw line for two shots. That's the best possession the Lancers have had so far. Really good ball movement, but great job by Oregon rotating around. Good foul inside on Field. And that's how the Lancers are going to be able to compete in this game. If you're already down, got to get long possessions, get good looks. And that, by doing that, you got to move the ball around quickly, especially against, a high, again, a high-flying Oregon team. First of two. Good. A couple subs in for the Ducks. Sarah Rambis checks in along, uh, along with Elisa Mevis. Field knocks down both free throws. Really excited to see Mavius for Oregon number eight as Deja Kelly draws a foul. Transfer from Siena College a season ago, Mavius. Was a MAC Defensive Player of the Year a season ago. And we had a foul against CBU. Ducks to inbound, get it in. Kelly quickly off one foot, knocks it down. Just Drawn so up good. to perfection by Kelly Graves, and Oregon's up 12. Just so good. Finding Deja Kelly's space. That's the key. She's going to be the scorer for the Ducks this year. Give and go inside. A big collision down in the restricted area. It's going to be an offensive foul against the Lancers. The Ducks' defense, I think, has been almost as good as, if not better, than their offense right now. Yeah, I think the Lancers are a little bit kind of on the ropes already early. And we talked about how the Lancers, again, a great season a year ago, but lost a couple key players, one to the WNBA draft. And so it's a different look this year, and so far they're behind. Kelly off the screen from Rambis. Pulls up a dribble, back to Media. Stop of the key, drives in, puts it up right-handed, no good. And rebound field. She dribbles it out of the pack the other way. Now pulls it. Trying to get it to Schmidt down low on the post up. They finally do against the smaller Mevius. Puts it up inside, and they're going to say no basket. She walked with it. It's a travel. Another turnover for the Lancers, and it's back to the Ducks as we head into our first timeout. 4.37 to play in quarter number one. Ducks 17, Lancers 5 here on Big Ten Plus.
back inside Matthew Knight Arena where the Oregon Ducks lead the California Baptist Lancers 17 to 5. Aiden Hess and Jonah Bruneau on the call with you. And right now for Oregon, they're coming off a season a year ago and which it's one that Oregon wants to forget. Finished 11 and 21 overall, 2 and 16 in the Pac-12. Ended that season on a 14 game losing streak, but they feel like with head coach Kelly Graves, he feels like they have the players to turn it around. Yeah, and this is a program now being in the Big Ten, a program that just reached the Final Four in 2019. They know what they can get to. They know the ceiling, and the ceiling for this team is high this year. Bell puts up a three out of the timeout. Too strong. Rebound feel along the baseline. Field's been active so far for the Lancers, but again, just really good full court pressure and pressure inside from Oregon. Lancers cannot drive to the, get into the lane. Oregon's doing a really good job, and now you got Philippine Che in. This is our first look at freshman Shawnee Nordstrom for the Lancers as she misses that tough layup. Ducks come out fast in transition. Nevius, top of the key, over to Rambis. I'll get it to Deja Kelly. Thought about a three, they dump it off to Filipina Che down low, three-pointer on the way, and it is good. Sophia Bell once again, her second three of the night. Oregon up 20-5. to five. Great to see her off to a really nice start as well. It was a top 30 overall ranked recruit coming out of high school, and of course, last season, her freshman year, got had a season-ending injury halfway through it. Tua tried to go up amongst the trees. Filipina Che has blinded her view of the basket. Pull up, another shot won't go. Deja Kelly off that time. Saw her made a couple of shots from that range earlier in this first quarter. Back up to the top, Tua comes off a screen. Back up, Johansson will trigger. Deadens off the heel. Lancers can't get many good looks. Oregon's doing a really good job. Off ball pressure and rotations around the arc. Get it inside, this is Sarah Rambis, one of the few returning players from the team last year. Gets her fir first, first couple points of the season. And this is the point as well for Oregon, the advantage over this Lancer team, the height difference. Shot no good. Players like Filipina Che at six foot eight, Sarah Rambis six foot three. Just towers over the rest of the field. Nevius tried to drive in, but got sealed off. Layup wouldn't go. Nordstrom runs the other way, sees the lane to the basket, puts it up with the right hand and floats it home. Shawnee Nordstrom, the freshman from Hamilton, New Zealand. And the Lancers finally hit a field goal. They'd missed their last six in a row. Nordstrom's a really good player, going to be one of their best key players this year if they're going to be successful again. Ducks working around the perimeter and ends in another three. Sophia Bell dials up a triple. Oregon just shooting really well from the field. Just about over 60% to start and from the arc above 70%. Lancers try to respond. Mm -mm, no good. And there's the rebound machine, Che, again. At 381 total rebounds season ago. That's third in Oregon team history for a single season. It's Bell again, not that time. Maybe a heat check. Oregon by 18. We approach a minute 20 to go in the first quarter. Johansson left open, straight away three, nothing but net. Big shot, seemed like Cal Baptist needed that one. Oregon starting to flex their muscle as we've got a timeout on the floor. Yeah, if they're gonna get open shots, they're gonna have to hit them, especially being down double digits early. It's been all Oregon so far. Just gonna be a 30 second timeout and Oregon's up 25 to 10 right now, and really everything is clicking. It seems like there hasn't been that, that slow, sluggish start to the season with this whole new band of players. It seems like they're gelling right from the get-go. And of course, you know, the main headline players like Deja Kelly, Amina Muhammad coming in, tran star transfers from North Carolina and Texas. But what gets lost in the shuffle are the returning players that we mentioned, Aiden. Sophia Bell, Peyton Scott, we've seen them both play a part in this game so far. Sophia Bell already nine points to her credit early in this first half. It's been an impressive effort for Oregon. New season and a new conference. Opening night from Eugene, Oregon. We just saw Shawnee Nordstrom enter the point column of the box score. She, a freshman, she's gonna be key, like I mentioned, for the Lancers this season. She's gonna be, if they're gonna be successful again like they were last year, 
Katie Fiso has checked into the ball game. She has the ball in her hands now. Fiso puts it up, 18-footer, a little bit too short. And the Lancers grab the rebound and look to hurry the other way. Schmidt just had a wide open lane, really no contest down low. Puts in the easy layup, five quick points for CBU. Schmidt's getting physical inside, but that time had an easy look right through the lane, no one there. Lancers trying to move quick on offense. Ducks Keep working Oregon around off the perimeter. Nevius goes around Whitfield. Now at the top of the key. Eight shoot. Another three. Hoisted on the way. That time no good. There's Falatea on the attempt. And here come the Lancers. Field. Drives in. Step, steps through. And couldn't get it to go. Oregon's going to hold for the last shot. Shot clock is dark with eight to go. Five to shoot. Four to shoot. Crossing over. Falatea has to put it up at the buzzer. Off the mark. And we're going to wrap up quarter number one as we get ready to head to quarter number two. A very successful quarter to begin the season for the Oregon Ducks. And so it becomes Anaya Tua and Felipe Barros are two players that really are going to have to step up in a big way to provide that offense that they're now missing. Ducks lead by 13 as we kick off quarter number two. Fiso gets the handoff from Muhammad. Crossover dribble. Sends it out to the left wing. Falatea, little stop and drop shot off the glass. It goes. Bank shot is home for Oregon. Yeah, that's a beautiful touch right there. Great shot. Kind of on the move as well, but using the glass as her friend. Starting fives on the floor right now. It's Barros, Duran, Tua, White, and Schmidt for CBU. And for Oregon, Whitfield, Fiso, Falatea, Muhammad, and Nevius. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by the Ducks. Fiso thought about a three, swings it back out. Top of the key, Muhammad will try. Can't get it. I was going to say, it was fitting that Muhammad took that shot. If she would have made the three, she forced it with the turnover on the other end. Good pass, cutting underneath. And it was Duran finishing the layup. Well, two points for each side here in quarter number two. And dump it down. Muhammad gets denied down low. Offensive rebound try for Whitfield. Can't finish it. Chris Schmidt with the one that got the paw up there to make the block. Three-pointer, right corner. Way too strong. Yeah, that's a missed opportunity there for Sydney White. Right, wide open three. You're going to need shots to fall like that to get back in this game. Palate along the baseline had to give up the ball. And she's, she's down. still down on the other end, holding what looks to be a, her knee or leg as play continues. Five on four for Cal Baptist. Shot is an air ball, and now we're going to have a stoppage for an injured player. And she's trying to stop all of her momentum on her right ankle, it looked like. Nani Falatea. See right here, her right ankle right there just rolls it just slightly. It's one of the worst feelings in sports, and especially in basketball. You roll your ankle or you jam your fingers trying to catch a pass. But This is a player, Retro Jr., just spent her first three seasons with BYU. And it's good to see her walking under her own power, but likely will be headed back to the locker room to be checked out further. She is being met by one of the Oregon trainers, still just... And, and again, we mentioned, in. we mentioned the injuries last season for Oregon. Yeah, Sophia Oregon Bell, Peyton Scott, Scott, among others. Early season injuries as well to that point. And now Falatea goes out early here. First game of the year in the first half. So after the injury, Peyton Scott checks in for the Ducks. Sophia Bell is in the ball game as well. Ducks work it around. The three-point arc. Fiso jump shot won't go. Loose ball rebound picked up by Duran. Lancers try to run the fast break, and they do to perfection, give and go across the paint. Gray Schmidt, Gray Schmidt with the finish. Gray Schmidt having a really nice game inside. She's starting to get going. was slow to start, but she's finding her groove. Muhammad takes it on herself uh, among a couple of Lancer defenders. Can't finish the layup, but does get fouled. She's going to go to the free throw line for two. Talked about 
Over on cue, Katie Fisto, the freshman, as she now checks out for Deja Kelly. Fisto, this is a player that head coach Kelly Graves is ecstatic about to have on this squad. Ducks so by 11. As it's the first free throw attempt today for Oregon, and it is good. She's a player that is Fiso, is a player that Graves thinks she's the best point guard in the country, regardless of what the rankings say. And she's just a freshman. And Muhammad twice perfect from the stripe. Oregon back up by 13 in quarter number two from Matthew Knight Arena. Trying to get it to Schmidt. Catches the high pass, top of the key, trying to back her way in against Muhammad, now hands it off. Down low, give and go, Schmidt again, makes the layup, and she is fired up about that one. A good assist and a good finish. Well, she should be, again, just really finding her groove inside the paint. Oregon's not rotating quickly enough. Muhammad sends it down low, and a good entry pass. Alexis Whitfield got the positioning, and Finished at close range. That time on defense, Schmidt got lost, and Whitfield was open space and good pass. Schmidt again, and it's a battle down low. Schmidt and Whitfield trading baskets. Well, this is a chance for the Lancers. They're taking advantage of Filipina Che not being in the game. They're attacking the paint with Schmidt, and it's working here in the second quarter. Bell pump fakes, sends it up top to Whitfield. Oregon hasn't tried a three in the second quarter yet. They hit a handful in quarter number one. Whitfield from the right block, spins, puts it up, gets it to go. Alexis Whitfield making her presence felt in the paint. Tua driving in, stumbles along the right lane as she falls to the hardwood and gets fouled. Shooting foul, two shots coming up for CBU. You mentioned how Tua and Barros were going to have to be the two key players Offensive players for the Lancers this year, but so far Tua scoreless as she goes to the free throw line now and borrows just three points to her name to begin. And a couple of substitutions. Shawnee Nordstrom is one of them for the Lancers. First free throw, won't go. Unaya Tua is a senior from Anaheim, California. She played at Cal State Northridge before making her way to California Baptist. 0 for 2 from the line. She was second as well on the team in a total assist last year for the Lancers. Muhammad give and go to Deja Kelly. Trying to drive in and lost the ball off her foot and out of bounds. Ball goes back to the Lancers with 6.10 to play. Excuse me, 6.04 to play in the second quarter. That really came from off ball Nordstrom. Kind of a ball hawking, picking the pocket of Deja Kelly, and it goes in the Lancers' favor. And back to Nordstrom. I mean, she's a freshman, just won sh three straight state championships in Utah in high school. McDonald's All-American nominee. Three-pointer on the way. Way too long. She, along with Barra, Barros and Tua, are going to be the key offensive playmakers or a California Baptist. Try to get it down low, Muhammad, and she gets fouled before she can get the basketball in her hands. It's going to be a foul on the floor against California Baptist, their second foul of the second quarter. And with a dominant first quarter for Oregon, both teams are even in the rebound totals, 14 apiece. And that's saying something, especially for an undersized Lancer team. They've done a good job underneath the rim. Scott drives in, cross-court pass, finds Bell for three. She had the hot hand in the first, but it comes up way too strong that time. And now the Lancers have numbers. Five on four the other way. They get it left wing, a three off just glass. Won't go. Just two of 12 from beyond the arc for the Lancers. That's been their Achilles heel big time here on offense in the first half. Deja Kelly with a ball in her right hand. Dribbles, looks for space, finds Muhammad on the pick and roll, gets fouled. And they're going to call a blocking foul. Looked like the contact occurred in the restricted area. And we, we've seen this pick and roll a few times between Kelly and Muhammad. And that time Muhammad had the space. Good pass by Kelly. Draw the foul, go to the free throw line, shoot two. Two shots for Amina Muhammad. She was two of two her last time at the stripe. The only two free throws the Ducks have attempted in this game. 
first on the way and gets it to go. First Muhammad, part of that Texas team last year, making the Elite Eight run in the NCAA tournament. Was one of the four one seeds. And that time can't get it. So the lead stays at 14 for Oregon. We approach five minutes to play in the half. Johansson pump fakes the defender, puts it up and splashes it home. Emma Johansson, native of Sweden, and now trouble on the inbound. Sloppy inbound pass by Oregon. They throw it away, and it's going right back to California Baptist. Yeah. That tell you what, the Lancers hanging around in this game, and now Oregon with their own costly mistakes. California Baptist still in there. We're going to step aside, come back after this media timeout. 4.56 to play for Matthew Knight Arena in the second quarter. Oregon 34, Cal Baptist. California Baptist four shooting, but the leading scorer right now for Oregon, Sophia Bell with nine points. She's made three three-point baskets. And as play resumes, the deflection into the backcourt, Lancer is able to control and recollect. Barros stops at the top of the key, finds a player in the corner, now back to Barros, and that ball kicked up in the air. Deja Kelly, almost like a soccer goalie, ready to run the fast break, but it's a kick ball violation, side out to the Lancers with 20 on the shot clock. And Deja Kelly, she comes from success. All of her years at North Carolina reaching the NCAA tournament. She expects the same coming here to Oregon. And it's going to be tough for the Ducks. First year in the Big Ten Conference, of course, as we all know. Ari Long just checked in for Oregon. Around the right lane, Barros used her speed and got inside for the layup. Yeah, got a step on Muhammad. Muhammad couldn't recover, and Barros easy lay in with the right hand. Ducks working it around the three-point arc. Along with the ball, first time she's seen action in this ball game on opening night. Muhammad sets the pick for Kelly. Now back to Long, top of the key. Eight to shoot. Bell crosses over, finds Long, left corner triple, off back iron, but corrals right to her for her own rebound. Ducks will reset. Nevius taking on a defender. Asia Kelly. Pull up jumper, couldn't get the roll, still loose. Mevious offensive rebound, threw it up, but did not score. Really good rebound by Mevious. Kind of rushed the layup, the second chance points. Kind of a, un, a low percentage shot on the layup reverse. Could have kind of slowed it down there, try and get another possession. Instead, it's the other way for the Lancers. Offensive rebound, Johansson gets tied up. There'll be a jump ball, possession arrow. Stays with the Lancers. Second time we've seen a jump ball in this game, and both times the Lancers have gotten the benefit of the arrow. And quietly, it's only a nine-point game. Duran got by a defender, finds out this is a triple. Couldn't make it a six-point game. 3.20 to play. Three on the way, and it is good. Ari Long, welcome to the game. Knocks down a three. Welcome to Oregon as well. Another one of the transfers. She's from Washington a season ago. Johansson tried to answer, could not. Oregon up by 12. Lancers outscoring the Ducks in this second quarter, 13 to 12. Long dials it up again, you betcha. Two for two from deep for Ari Long. Ducks back up by 15. How about Ari Long? Only appeared in half of the Huskies games a season ago for Washington. Johansson short on the layup attempt. Adds a rebound here as well. Six points coming off the bench here in the second quarter. Bell wheels it around to the top of the key. Nevius in the right corner. Gets the handoff. The German will fire a three. Bang! Oregon again from deep. The gold medalist, Elisa Mevius, this time cashing in. Well, they were hot from the start in the first quarter from downtown. Slowed it in the beginning of the second quarter, but now are back on it. A couple from Long and now Mevius. And we've got a foul on the entry pass. We're trying to get it down low to Emma Johansson. 
And it's a foul against Sophia Bell, her first. With a tick under two minutes to play in quarter number two, we've got some substitutions. Filipina Che checks in for Muhammad. And it's Tua, Schmidt, and I believe I wasn't sure, quite sure who that last player was. But Schmidt comes back in. They're trying to match Filipina Che in as well. It's going to be a really tough task for Schmidt now. You see it right there. Just cannot get a clear lane past Che. Answer is looking like they want to work the ball inside. They'll settle for a three. Air ball. Tell you, they've been really off target from downtown. There's a handful of air balls now from the Lancers. California Baptist, three of 16 from deep. Mevius again. Yes! Eliza Mevius. And the Ducks have it dialed up from deep. 12 0 run for Oregon. North of 50% from downtown. And we Another have a travel, travel call against Cal Baptist. From Barros. Barros, the one that walked with it. And this was a nine point game about two minutes ago. Oregon's up 21. Asia Kelly crosses it over. Mevius again, does she have it? Not that time, comes up short. Lancers feel like they need a basket here. Approach 60 seconds to play in the half. Barros drives in, gets it out. Schmidt, the center, tries a three. In and out, no good. Yeah, not her forte from shooting from beyond the arc. You'd like to see Schmidt, if she's going to get an advantage on Che, she had a lane there on the cut. Nevius down low to Che, puts up the shot, won't go. And a good backcourt pressure. Nevius picks up, picks off the pass. About an eight, 10 second difference separating shot and game clock. 30 seconds to play in the second quarter and Oregon's gonna reset. Deja Kelly walks it back out. Gotta think her and Philippine Che here are gonna work together as they wind down the clock all the way. Eight to shoot. Kelly comes off the screen on the right side from Che. Gets it up, Bell, down low to Che. Three to shoot, she's gotta force it up. And got fouled. Yeah, Lancers. Wanted a jump ball, but they get the foul on Tua coming in for the backside help. Filipina Che will go to the free throw line last season. Shot 63% from the stripe. It's kind of a different role for her this year coming off the bench, at least in this game. Started pretty much every game at that, center, at that center spot for Oregon last season. First one on the way, no good from the lefty. Yeah, she has battling a couple minor injuries as well during the week and last week in practice. She might be trying to just ease her back into the starting rotation as the weeks come on here. And she's able to hit one out of two. Sammy Wagner for Oregon checks in for Che in the final 12 and a half here in the first half. Ducks send pressure in the backcourt. Barros is the one to bring it up with five to shoot, comes off the screen. Three to shoot, righty layup, rolls in. Clock still running, Mevius won't put up a long distance shot and the buzzer sounds, that takes us to halftime. So after 20 minutes of play, Joe and I'd say the Ducks look pretty good. They've got a 20 point lead. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with you, Aiden. They have had showed times where they slowed down a bit, had a couple unforced errors, and allowed the Lancers to crawl back into the game, had gotten it back to single digit. But then Oregon comes back to life from beyond the arc. Ari Long, a pair of threes. Me, me vest a couple threes as well. And so Oregon all of a sudden way in control. A good start for Oregon. We are going to send it to halftime break. When we come back, it'll be quarter number three and the resumption of Oregon women's basketball here on Big Ten Plus. Oregon will be attacking from left to right. The Lancers from right to left. You heard that report. And a foul Kelly. out of the gate, and yep. that shot's not going to count by Deja Kelly. It's going to be an offensive foul. And you heard that report from Olivia 
on Nani Falatea. This is a player, again, a transfer from BYU, but it's an all-West Coast Conference first team a season ago. And she also was injured in the first five, and out for the first five games of the season last year as well. So another early season injury for Falatea. Duran with the basketball, give and go to Grace Schmidt. She puts it up and finishes the layup. Grace Schmidt's had a really nice first half. She's been the most impressive to me, and, and evidently so. Ten points leads the team for the Lancers. The only player on the entire floor to have double-digit points. Kelly will answer. Deja Kelly knocks down her first three of the game and the season. Timeout, California Baptist. Yeah, Cole Tolson immediately didn't see something he liked. It calls a quick timeout to begin the second half. And we're going to take a break and step aside quickly. We've got a timeout, 9-18 to play in quarter number three. Oregon leads the Lancers 50-29 to here on Big Ten Plus. Pops, and as you mentioned, one of the more unique floor designs in all of the country with the trees as well. They're still there, not as much as busy of trees on the floor, but still a really nice design. I like the change. So we resume the game on our new floor. Three-pointer hits the side of the backboard. Rebounded by Whitfield. Ducks coming the other way. Here's a corner three. Up and off the back iron. No good off the trigger from Peyton Scott. Naya Tua with the rebound. She's still scoreless in this game for the Lancers. Was the third highest scorer last season overall. And Duran couldn't corral the pass. Ball went out of bounds. It's going back to the Ducks with 8.47 to play in the third quarter. Three points in the third for Oregon, just two for California Baptist. Jump shot. This time Scott, back-to-back -back trips where she's missed a field goal. Lancers go quickly the other way. Barros dishes it out. Now Tua, she got open but decides to drive in. Bounce pass underneath. Schmidt puts it up, and she gets fouled. Grace Schmidt has ten points. She's the leading scorer for this Lancer team. She'll go to the free throw line for two shots. She's finding ways to create space inside the paint. She's getting physical at the rim as well. Five or six from the field so far tonight is Schmidt. It's her first trip to the charity stripe. And rattles home the first. Yeah, not a great free throw shooter under 50%, 43 to be exact, a season ago. Makes two, both. two perfect free throws, 100% that time. Lead is 19 for Oregon as the Lancers try to dial up some backcourt pressure. The Ducks get it across the timeline to Scott. Oregon has numbers. Sophia Bell is the leading scorer in the first half, nine points on three three-point buckets. Scott sends it over to Bell, left corner. Can she do it again? No, not that time. Rebound Schmidt. Ends it up to Barros, and the Lancers come the other way. Eight minutes to play in the third quarter. Bars needs to slow it down here, draw something up, get a good look, good possession. Driving on Scott. Pauses in midair, floats up the shot, and too strong. Rebound Ducks. Deja Kelly sidesteps the defender behind the back dribble. Wants a reset. Probably the give and go from Muhammad. Mohamed takes it in amongst the trees, puts it up. Didn't get the shot to go, but draws the foul. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, the two-star transfers, Mohamed and Kelly, have been working pretty well tonight. Not exactly on the same page in each possession, but right there trying to create space, draws the foul. Mohamed goes to the line yet again. Mohamed three of four from the free throw line today. And her first off back iron into the right, no good. 50 to 31 Oregon, seven and a half to play in the third quarter. And 0 for two. And off those two missed free throws, you get the feeling that if California Baptist is gonna get back into this and make it close, the time is now to do so. Have some momentum on their side here. It was a ball out of bounds, gonna stay with the Lancers. 
Barros along the sideline will inbound. Scoring kind of slow out of the gate to begin the third quarter. Obviously both teams have made their defensive adjustments. Driving in Tua along the baseline. Ball loose, picked up by Deja Kelly. The Ducks running the other way. It's a four on two. Kelly makes it a two on one, puts it up, got denied by the rim, but got fouled, and she'll go to the free throw line. I mean, she can really do it all. She can play defense. She has great speed. You see her moving all the way up the court, taking it on inside the paint at the rim, drawing the foul. Great shooter, of course, as well. Average over 16 points a game a season to go. And you said forget about an outlet pass. I'm going to be the outlet pass and just t run this ball down the floor myself. Running the fast break was Deja Kelly. She's good on the first free throw. Last year at UNC, over 16 points a game. And this is that second one. The Ducks lead is 20. Barros on the right side, guarded by Kelly. Send it back out up top. Then a behind the back pass got disrupted and it's picked up by Bell. Scott holds it and the Ducks cross the half court line. And Scott wanted a screen from Rhombus, miscommunication, have to reset here. Kelly had the ball poked free, but it was a reach in foul against the Lancers. Filippo Barros, the one who committed it, her first foul of the game, and Oregon's going to have it side out with 6.34 to play in the third quarter. Kelly to the corner, and we have another foul. So on the same possession. And that one's on Schmidt, I believe, this time it is indeed. Two fouls against the Lancers. That's going to be their fourth foul of this quarter. Oregon with just two. The third on Schmidt. Bell off the inbound. Three. Back iron, no good. Good offensive rebound by Whitfield. Kelly will try it. Can't make good on the second attempt. Another offensive rebound. Sarah Rambus put it back up and in, but the referee said she got fouled on the floor. And that's the fourth against Gray Schmidt. She's going to have to go to the bench. And that's a huge loss for Cal Baptist. Yeah, absolutely. Again, the leading scorer for the Lancers so far in this game with 12. But she's had the, the, the most valuable presence as, as well in both ends of the ball. Defensively forcing a couple turnovers, making it difficult in the lane for Oregon. And another missed free throw for the Ducks. Sarah Rambis this time misfires. And, and with four fouls for Schmidt, you know, as she checks off here, You'd expect her to be off for quite some time here. Going to need her in the fourth quarter to make a one last charge, potentially. CBU hasn't scored in a little over two minutes. Oregon hasn't made a field goal in over three minutes. Ball is loose in the backcourt. Oregon, intense pressure dialed up. Lancers finally get it across. Still a scramble for the ball. It's going to be a foul against Sarah Rambis. Yeah, she's like, like both the, teams just need to settle their nerves for a little bit. Well, and especially California Baptist. They've been moving really quick, really all game long and too fast. You need to slow it down, relax, let the game come to you. Let plays progress. Barros tries to drive in, sends it out, work it around the perimeter. Now driving in, the freshman Nordstrom puts it up off to the back rim. Deja Kelly the other way, tries to drive into the paint, dishes it out, got bumped to the floor, and once again, another foul against the Lancers. Yeah, that time on two, uh, kind of hold your breath every time you see a player hit the deck, and especially the talent of Deja Kelly. Of course, again, first game as an Oregon Duck. She able to hop, she's able to hop on, on her, back on her feet. It looks just fine. And that's the sixth foul by the Lancers of this quarter, but... All you need is five to put you in the bonus. Lancers in the penalty. Kelly to shoot two free throws. And makes the first. Before that one, Oregon was shooting 50% from the line, just six of 12. But now after the two made ones by Kelly, it's eight of 14. 
still try, dialing up the pressure in the backcourt. Relentless pressure. Get it to Johansson, and a good job by CBU to break the press, and an easy basket on the other end. Really good job by both teams. I like the full court press. It was successful for the most part for Oregon, but a great pass to find Johansson behind. Good answer by the Lancers on the full court press. Down low to Muhammad. Good entry feed and good finish. Ducks answer right back. That's actually Alexis Whitfield inside. She's got nine to her name. Field throws it out to the corner. Couldn't corral it. Was Duran, and it goes out of bounds. Another turnover. It's now the 14th. Turnover committed by Cal California Baptist. 56 points at the moment for Oregon, but only one player, and it's Deja Kelly in double digits with 10 points, really spreading the wealth on offense. Up top, Sarah Rambis. Ducks working it around. Peyton Scott tries to triple, bangs it home. Peyton Scott knocked down a three really early in this game, answers right back with another. Barros driving in, finds a kick out, top of the key, it's Nordstrom. Nordstrom fires up a deep three, comes up short. Rebound Whitfield. Katie Fiso crossing over in the corner, down, dump it down low on the right side to Rambis, puts it up, strong move, all muscle Sarah Rambis. And she's excited as she should be was seemingly trapped inside, but creates the space and off the glass and in good touch. Ducks on a 7-0 run over the last minute or so. Johansson, lefty layup goes. It's a good roll by Johansson, created space, had Rhombus on her heels, and a good pass inside. Rhombus top of the key, feeds it out left side. Fiso wants the screen. Still crossing over, back to Rambus. We'll try a deep two and bury it. How about that from the forward showing off the range? The mid-range shooting for Oregon has been solid as well tonight, along with their shooting from beyond the arc as we get a foul whistle here. Yeah, foul on the floor, and as we get another look at that, at that deep two, and Sarah Rambus says, okay, if you're going to leave me open, I'm going to make you pay. And we have a timeout on the floor. So with 3.38 to play in the third quarter, Oregon extending their lead. It's the Ducks, 63, the Lancers. To be a turnaround from a season to go with all the new pieces they've added. So out of the timeout, Lancers to inbound. They get it into Johansson. And as Barros dribbling, sends it over to the left side of Nordstrom. Now to Claudia Field. And ball disrupted as they try to throw it back. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it's going the way of the Ducks. That's just great defense by Mevius right there. Was kind of side-eyeing it and expected that pass. Did a good job. Ball hawk from Mevius there, forced it out of bounds, and it goes the Duck way. Now officially the 14th turnover committed by the Lancers. We are approaching the three-minute mark in the third quarter. Handoff, Kelly thought about a three, drives in, pulls up on a two, off back rim. Someone lost a shoe on the floor. It's, it's Sammy Wagner. Yeah, Sammy Wagner's playing with one shoe, and she gets the rebound, and now the referee stops play for her to put on her, her lost sneaker. Yeah, Wagner, redshirt sophomore, didn't get much playing time last year for Oregon, but we've seen her a solid amount here in the opening night of this 2024-25 season for Oregon. We've got a new face on the floor for the Lancers. Cece Legaspi seeing her first action of the ball game as Felipe Barros checks out. Legaspi is freshman in her own right. Crossing over Fiso gets denied by Johansson. And then a turnover in the backcourt. Mevius picks it up, takes it up on Johansson, gives it up to Fiso. Great teamwork by the Ducks. I'll tell you, Mevius' defense has been most impressive tonight. Unbelievable ball hawking skills again on the full court pressure that the Ducks have executed well tonight. 
And that is Legospi checking into the ball game. Gets the layup in off the glass for her first points. And it should be noted that Mevius Again, a transfer from Siena College. She set both a Siena and a Mac single season record in steals with over 130 a season ago. And here she is on offense, flipping up the finger roll. And Oregon's lead back up to 30 with two to play in the third. And she was second in the nation as well, the entire country in that category. She won a gold medal over the summer in Paris as part of the German 3v3 basketball team. Johansson, the Sweden native, tries a three and rattles it home. Ducks lead by 27. Nevius dribbles middle. Down low and had a reach in foul against the Lancers. And that's going to send Elisa Nevius to the free throw line for her first trip tonight. Good block there, Johansson on Fiso. Fiso, the freshman again. Mentioned earlier the praise from head coach Kelly Graves about Katie Fiso making her. First Oregon start here as the duck inside Matthew Knight Arena. Again, he thinks that Fiso is one of the most talented point guards in the country, and she hasn't even played a game yet until tonight in call at the college level. She's shown kind of that kind of trying to ease her way into the game, pick up with the college level speed. She's shown flashes of promise. Just two points to her name so far tonight, but good experience, first game of the year. Nevius one of two from the free throw line. Oregon up by 28. Lancers hurry it up down the floor quickly. Legospi a three and rattles it home. Well, two field goal attempts, two makes for CeCe Legospi. She's got five. And she was a two-time All-State first team honoree in Idaho. The freshman Legospi. Wagner sets the screen. Here's Rambus, tries the jumper, that time comes up short. Tries to get her own rebound, but reached over the back of Emma Johansson. And that's gonna be a side out foul. Yeah, keep in mind, they're putting Johansson inside the paint. Kinda has that fifth. And Grace Schmidt had been that player tonight for the Lancers, and she's been the most productive player in the point category as well, but Again, four fouls for Schmidt in foul trouble, and she remains on the bench here late in the third quarter. And that was the fifth foul called against Oregon, so that puts CBU in the bonus. Johansson to the free throw line. Can't get the first one to spin in. Yeah, Johansson. By far the tallest player on this Lancer team at six foot three. That's crazy to say because Oregon's got a player on their side that's six foot eight. Filipina Che, the tallest player in Oregon history. You mentioned Filipina Che. She has not entered the action here in the second half. Nevius tried to take it down the lane. Did everything right except the finish. 40 seconds to play in the third and Ball thrown in the direction of the CBU bench. It was deflected, so it's going to stay with the Lancers. I think Oregon has really taken over control of this game here in the third quarter. They did what they needed to do coming out of halftime. Forced more turnovers like they've had in the first half. They've done so. They forced 15 of them, in fact, to this point. Tua against Mevius, trying to bully her way into the paint, picked up her dribble, and now looks for a pass. Gets up to field, give and go, good pump fake by Tua, and she's able to get the easy basket. And Tua has had a, a struggle tonight. Finally, her first points of the game. Three on the way, no good. That was Ari Long, saw her make a three-pointer earlier, but the Ducks get the offensive rebound and can hold for the final shot of the third. Fiso. Driving in, pulls up the dribble, pass telegraphed and stolen. Three on the clock, two is trying to drive in, ball is loose on the floor, and the buzzer sounds. That is going to do it in quarter number three. We've got ten more minutes for you from Matt. One of a doubleheader, Oregon women's basketball. That's what you're watching right now. Oregon men's basketball is going to be tipping off to open the season against the UC Riverside Highlanders. But we've got one more quarter to play, Oregon against California Baptist. And right out of the get-go in the fourth, we have a foul. 
And that is going to go against Eliza Mevius of Oregon. So side out for CBU. Yeah, we have a pair of Riverside California teams coming to Eugene this afternoon. Of course, Cal California Baptist also located in Riverside, California. First time these two teams have ever met. Body feel with the ball. Sends it over to Tua. CBU trying to get their offense started, but hasn't yet. Four on the shot clock. Tua with two to shoot against Mevius. Has it partially blocked. And it's going to be a shot clock violation. Eliza Mevius defense continues to be locked down. And she is a defensive star. There's no doubt. She's a defensive superstar. There is no doubt about it. Again, second in the entire nation this season go in steals. Over 130 of them. We have a foul in the backcourt. No, rather a timeout for Oregon with 9.26 to play. And Oregon leading by 20. Three points. We're both Southern California boys originally. Yeah. I know you're you're more San Diego area. Yeah, I'm from San Diego. You're uh you're Long Beach, right? Uh, sort of. Yeah, Irvine, that Irvine kind of Orange County area. But I did spend about a year and a half uh, in Riverside, living there. So I know another thing or two about the area. Well, we can continue this conversation at the other side of this break. We're going to step aside quickly. When we come back, Oregon leads. CBU 68-45 here on Big Ten Plus. The Ducks defense has come to play on opening night, as well as their offense, too. It's worthy to mention Oregon with a 23-point lead here inside Matthew Knight Arena. And there's really one player we want to highlight on the defensive end, Devious Mevious. Elisa Mevious mentioned earlier she won a gold medal over the summer in Paris on the German national team in three-on-three -three basketball was the MAC Defensive Player of the Year at Siena. 135 steals is what we highlight. That is the single season record in the MAC Conference, and really there hasn't been any turnover as she's made her way into Eugene. Hey, put that in comparison with the Oregon Ducks. That 135 steals would have been the most in a single season. In Oregon history, get this, by 40, 40. I mean, Mevious, we talk about all the offensive prowess this Oregon Ducks team has now with all the transfers coming in, the freshmen. How about defense as well? And the Ducks go quickly in transition. Amina Muhammad finishes up the layup. And Oregon's hit 70. A foul on Ari Long inside. And it didn't seem like the fans behind us were too happy about it. Didn't look like Long got to her spot in time, and it's going to be two free throws for CeCe Legospi. 35 points for Legospi again. Her first action at the college level tonight for the Lancers. She got six with that free throw. One more to come. She's a freshman. Hasn't, hasn't missed a field goal yet. She's two for two. I might have jinxed her. Just mm -hmm. missed a free throw. Never-ending myth. The good old announcer's curse, Aiden, keeping it alive tonight. See, I always thought I'm not the one up there shooting it, so as Long puts in the layup, a good move. I'm not the one up at the line, so if I say, oh, this person's made 30 in a row. You put it in the atmosphere. <laughs> you put it up in the universe. Well, 
Lancer's working it around. And a little bit too aggressive on the reach. Amina Muhammad's going to get called for a foul. It's been a good night for the transfers for Oregon. Of course, Muhammad, Deja Kelly, the two key ones to note. But, of course, Mevious as well has really made an impact defensively for Oregon. Barros with the basketball, tries to send it, send it down low to Schmidt. And a foul, as she's able to draw the foul. Yeah, Schmidt, back foul into, Oregon. Schmidt back into the game. First time we've seen her check back in since drawing her fourth foul early in the third quarter is now first time we see Filipina Che here in the second half for she Oregon. Well-deserved applause from these Oregon fans. Another inbound, they get it quickly to Schmidt. And here's a corner three, Legospi. That time way off, just hit the just the glass before corralling up against the rim. Ducks run it quickly down the other way. Che with it, sends it out. Left corner, three, back iron no good. Good rebound the other way by Felipe Barros. White driving in, a bunch of, couple of bodies, and then the ball ended up with Schmidt, and she's able to tuck it home. Ducks come quickly. Mevia stops about a nine-foot jumper and knocks it down. And for Grace Schmidt, what's so good for her and effective as well is when she gets those inside dishes, she's quick to the rim, doesn't wait and allow Che to have time to get inside and throw up a hand in front of Schmidt's shot. She does a good job being fast as gets one over throwing her head here. Yeah, ball skipped over the head of Schmidt, but Barros able to run it down. 12 to shoot. Barros against Bell, driving in, right-handed shot, high off the glass. Good high point layup by Felipe Barros. I'm not so sure how she had an angle. That was an amazing layup off the glass you mentioned from Barros with the right hand kind of over her head. Scott pops and drills it. Ducks just stopping on a dime and hitting their jump shots. 28 of 60 from the field is Oregon, good for 47%. Ball loose, picked up by Deja Kelly, coming the other way. It's a three on one. Right. Kelly gives it up. And Scott couldn't finish it. Peyton Scott got fouled, however. Still a productive possession for Oregon as they'll go to the line for two. It's great to see if you're Oregon, Peyton Scott being as impactful as she's had, she's been tonight. 10 points now for in this game for Scott. Shooting two here has a chance to be the leading scorer if she can make two. And it, for Oregon, we mentioned how Deja Kelly was the only player in double digits not too long ago for the Ducks. Now they have three of those players in double digits. Scott, one of them. Scott's first free throw won't go, but like I like the point you mentioned, Jonah. The Ducks have been doing a really good job of sharing the ball. It's not just one player carrying the load scoring-wise. Mevious leads the team with 11. Scott's got 10 with a free throw to come in. Deja Kelly has 10 of her own. Sophia Bell, Whitfield, a nine apiece. Scott's good on the second. So at the end of this game, we could potentially see maybe four, even five players in the double figure mark for points. Oregon leads by 27. Three straight away. Didn't have much spin on it and comes up short. Deja Kelly comes out of the pack. Surveying and looking. Send it off to Che, and now who handed it off to Scott. Nevius dumps it down to Che, trying to bully her way inside. Height advantage, and got fouled underneath. It's going to be on the floor, just the second against CBU. Oregon's committed four fouls, so be side out for the Ducks. And a great sign for the Ducks as well. Up 27 late here in the fourth quarter. Game well in control. But the fire and focus is still there. You see on the face of Deja Kelly, Filipina Che locked in. Kelly off the screen from Che, couldn't finish the shot. Kelly came up short, but still following the ball. Loose on the floor, Che's got it, and it's going to be a jump ball. This time the possession arrow goes the way of Oregon. A good scrappy play, not giving up till the last moment. Not many in the nation can out-wrestle Filipina Che. It's just not going to happen. She does a good job going to the ground, corralling it. Same play, they go off the screen from Che, and this time it's good. Peyton Scott knocks down the jump shot, and Oregon leads by 29. 
Adi Thiel hands it off. It's a three-point shot. It got partially blocked. Nia Anderson was the one to take that attempt. Kelly for three. Air ball. This Oregon crowd, fans behind us are starting to get into it. If I think if Deja Kelly would have knocked that down, it would have been a new level of intensity. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of excitement with her coming, transferring over from North Carolina, coming here to Eugene. Schmidt against Che. And Philly Che commits the foul. I know we've said it a lot tonight about Grace Schmidt, but she really has held her own against these really physical and tall centers for Oregon, Rhombus, Filipina Che, of course, at six foot eight. But Schmidt has been really productive. 14 points again, the leading scorer for the Lancers tonight. And she's going head to head. That was the fifth foul of the quarter against Oregon, so it puts the Lancers in the bonus. Schmidt makes the first free throw. Free throws tonight, Oregon shot 18 of a made 10. And the Lancers have shot 12 and made seven. 79-51 Oregon. And Schmidt heads to the bench. Haley Long in the game for the Lancers, her first time on the court. And you gotta think a lot of the starters for California Baptist will be done for the night, especially with Schmidt checking out as Che puts one in. Well, that's a tough sight for Haley Long. You check into the game and you have to go guard Filipina <laughs> Che. No kidding. Not easy for anyone. Che scores down low. Long tries to respond off the glass, won't go. Ball loose, scooped up by Nordstrom. Three-pointer, straight away, high arcing shot, banks it in. It was Claudia Feel? I don't think she called it, but it still counts. Bank's still open, doesn't matter if she calls it or not. Got to hit the five-minute mark in the fourth and final quarter. Oregon well on their way to an opening night win and a 1-0 start to this 2024-2025 campaign. Jay gets the ball down low, trying to post up. Works, puts it up high off glass, won't go. Offensive rebound. But then falling out of bounds with it was Peyton Scott. And the ball goes to the Lancers. Yeah, you mentioned it. It's quite the task for Haley Long to come in first minutes of the game and go up against six foot eight Filipina Che. Che had clear positioning on here there, but kind of forced the shot, rushed it off the glass. Inaccurate. Claudia Field handing through. Finds a player open on the right side, and Nia Anderson knocks down the three. Anderson as well. Getting her first minutes of the game here in the fourth. It's a steal. Ball loose, and but it gets picked up by Whitfield. Ducks keep it alive. Scott had numbers momentarily, pulls up the jumper. Off the mark to the right. Rebound. Lancers. CBU slows it down. Long sets the screen for Field. Swing pass. Long three-pointer. Off back rim. High arcing rebound. Fight for it. Scott picks it up on the floor. And the Ducks are able to control it. Deja Kelly sends it out to Fiso. Morgan works it around the perimeter. 13 on the shot clock. Ball in the hands of... Peyton Scott, crossover dribble, jump pass. Viso, hesitation move, pulls up from the free throw line, comes up short off the rim. Still fight for the rebound, it's loose. Picked up by the Lancers, Long got the rebound. Claudia Field running down the other way, wants to take it all the way coast to coast, no good, offensive rebound. Pass back on the kick out to Nordstrom, a three, nothing but net. Shawnee Nordstrom, the freshman, hits the three. Good sign late for the Lancers. A couple pair of threes. Anderson, now Nordstrom. And Nordstrom wide open. That has struggled from beyond the arc tonight, but gets one to fall her way. And so as we look at the score right now, Ducks are up 20, 81-61. Jonah, what's kind of been your thought process throughout pretty much we're almost to the finish line of this game, and, and what are you looking to see through the final 3-16? Yeah, I think just, you know, not not being sloppy, not playing down to the score, right? You mentioned how 
the fire and focus is still in the faces of this Oregon team. Not turning over the ball and having any other first airs, just playing a clean 40 minutes no matter the score. Nevius has it, the leading score for the Ducks. 13 points, they send it in the corner. Scott got fouled on a three-point attempt, so she's gonna earn a trip to the free throw line to shoot three. Yeah, Legaspi got called. She was shocked, didn't like it, felt she had all ball, but obviously some wrist in there, draws the foul. Correction, Mevius was the leading scorer at one point in time, but now Peyton Scott has overtaken her. Mevius has 11 points, Scott's got 13, and she can extend that advantage with three free throws upcoming as she knocks down the first. You know, we heard Olivia talk about it pregame. The depth for Oregon as well this year on paper looks good, pending any injuries. Of course, we saw earlier Falatea go out and evidently has not returned and won't return for the remainder of this game. But you also have players that didn't even suit up today. And he's a Tute, a new transfer as well for this Oregon Duck squad who's going to miss the first couple games of the year as she comp competes overseas in Europe. And we have an illegal screen called against Haley Long. Didn't get her feet set. Ball goes back to the Ducks, but yeah, Jonah, they, they've done a really good job of sharing the ball, and, and a lot of their points are off the bench. Oregon's got 33 bench points to just Cal California Baptist 19. But a player like Atute, a freshman, who once she gets back in the lineup for Oregon when she returns to the United States and into this Oregon Duck lineup, look at the ball moving here from the Ducks, meanwhile. Scott for three, can't pay it off, but a rebound by Whitfield. Ducks, new life. Rambis drives in against Long, puts it up, count it, and the foul. Sarah Rambis for the and one. Yeah, one of the handful of returning players, Sarah Rambis, has shown much improvement so far. I know it's only been one game, but she has looked really good for Oregon and confident as well from anywhere on the court. A couple of subs in the ball game for the Ducks. Ari Long checks back in along with Sammy Wagner. Rambis at the line to shoot one, makes it. To finish up on Itute, head coach Kelly Graves for Oregon, she's, she, he sees her as a double-double machine. Kind of reminds him, the you know, Oregon fans of Niara Sobley, a really good player a few seasons ago for the Ducks. That's high praise for a freshman. Three-pointer on the way, hits the back rim. No good was Nia Anderson on that attempt. Mevious a shimmy and a pass to Fiso at the top of the key. Sub at the scorer's table, Felipe Tilliander preparing to check in for Oregon. Mevious drives the baseline, sends it out. Fiso, right wing triple, back iron no good. Offensive rebound for Oregon. Sammy Wagner will dial one up and drill it. Everyone getting involved on the action for Oregon. They've hit 90. Yeah, they've really turned it on, and again, we've we keep touching on it, just spreading the ball around. Great ball movement, all that wealth, all the points up and down the box score for all these players for the Ducks just shows the ball movement and how much they're sharing it around the arc and inside the paint. Nordstrom was off on that attempt as we've got an official timeout for a substitution. Philippa, Philippa Tilliander, another native of Sweden, checks into the game and Ducks will have the ball side out. Seeing out this last minute 20 on opening night inside Matthew Knight Arena. Tilliander, her sophomore campaign just beginning here. She's a number five prospect, collegiate prospect in Sweden in the class of 2023. Fiso somehow caroms out to Medius and she drills it. Yeah, Oregon's just been great from beyond the arc since the get-go. Over 40% from downtown for the Ducks. This is offense that this town rarely saw last year. Medias, good defense on Long, comes up with the rebound as well. Under 40 seconds, Tilliander tries it. Not that time, back rim. Lancers come the other way. 
Fiel driving in, sends it up to Long. Dish pass to the left wing, Nordstrom. Down low along the baseline, and a good contested shot knocked down by Nia Anderson. Shot clock is turned off. Gonna run it out here. As the final seconds tick down, the crowd and Eugene comes to their feet. It was an opening night with a lot of success for head coach Kelly Graves and his Ducks. Oregon a 30-point victor over California Baptist. Final score, Ducks 93, Lancers 63. Just an incredible performance, both sides of the ball for Oregon. It was going to be... Wait a minute, I love you. Uh, 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 uh. 